right, we need to go ahead and do that. The intent of this job site is this going to be a life science campus one day. But essentially right now we're, we're going to be constructing seven buildings as part of phase one on this 47 of 97 acres. So we're in Raleigh, North Carolina. This is the Spark Life Science Campus Project. Our clients, Trinity Capital. The most interesting thing about the project is really the sheer enormity of the project. Not many people get to work on a 97 acre site. When they build out all future phases, including phase one, it's about 1.5 million square feet of buildings that are geared towards the life science industry here in Raleigh. It's a, it's a 97 acre site. Um, but phase one of that is probably about 40, 45 acres is fully built out. Um, and the rest of it is gonna be future development area. When we're done, um, we'll have completed just over half a million yards worth of, worth of earthwork. So right here, what you see is, is biomanufacturing building two. It's a tilt up uh, structure with a, with a steel interior. Probably in about the next two weeks, we'll start on the roof, start getting it dried in. You've got research and development, R&D, uh, basically steel structures complete. We actually just finished pouring our last slab on that building today. So they're up there putting the finish on it right now. You can see, see the skin starting to go on with those precast uh, panels, glass curtain walls going on, MEP rough ends going on everywhere throughout the interior of the building. And then BMF-1, which was the first building, you can't see it up here, but up towards the top of the project, that was the first building we did. We've moved from structure to starting finishes. We'll be just conducting finishes over the coming weeks and months on that building. Um, and then you just see the top of it, right over top of BMF-2, uh, that's our parking deck. Uh, we'll probably be done with the parking deck in about a week and a half or so. Hand it back over to follow on trades. Our self-performed crew is gonna go in there prep and pull the slab on grade, slab on ramp, all the pour backs and everything. So self-perform on this project is uh, our concrete crew, our Brass McGorry concrete crew in Region 8. Extreme advantage for us, uh, we get to control the schedule, control the manpower, control the sequence and flow. You know, when we face adversity with weather, we're really able to kind of come together and overcome that. Typically self-perform, you know, they usually just do footings and, and slabs, um, but we, we've done that out here. But we've also, there's a massive box culvert that we did all the foundations and walls for, um, and that, that was an undertaking. One of the unique things about the job here is we have two um, Army Corps of Engineer permitted stream crossings. Um, so this is one of them double barrel box over roughly 20 foot tall retaining walls on either side I mean there's there's 60 plus tons of rebar in these two in these two walls right here this is one of the most important pieces of the job even though it's it's not as pretty as everything else